Welcome to Access a Trader, the number one community for those who are committed to taking control of their trading in order to achieve success, profitability, and longevity. Thank you for joining us. Here's Dan Shapiro to help you find your edge, master your process, and own your future. Hey guys, good evening everybody. Welcome to uh, another edition of uh, the Access of Trader .com. A uh, nightly wrap-up show. Hope everybody is doing well. Hope everybody had a good day of trading. If you are brand new to the channel, thank you very much for tuning in. Uh, all we ask is like, share, subscribe, and tune in. And tune in and enjoy uh, the content that we provide on a very unbiased uh, and very um, uh, very equal balanced way of thinking based on uh, price action alone. So let's talk about it, right? Um, so we've been kind of going in this sideways cycle, defending the five-day moving average. Uh, a lot of names that we've been talking about for the last several days uh, looked very, very tired, okay? Um, and they were price action, uh, very tired to kind of correlate uh, with the theme. Today, the market had a pretty good jolt at the open, right? Very good jolt at the open. And as you will see by, uh, as you will see by the pivots, um, stocks did very, very well today, right? Uh, even including Tesla, we'll get to the Tesla saga in a second. Uh, but the common denominator is, and we've been kind of talking about this now uh, for the last now five out of six days, the market has closed lower than the open. Again, you can only see there's literally one green candle uh, in the last five or six days, again, which basically shows you that sellers are taking over uh, at the close. It doesn't mean anything to the price action. All this could be said and everything could be good and everybody could agree with each other that the market looks a little bit tired. It looks a little bit uh, gassed out going into uh, the last month of the year. But until the market uh, officially wants to back test, this is all it is, is just the rest. Uh, we've been going through that number uh, pretty much in nauseam for the last five, six days. And the bulls keep on defending that area, right? They keep on defending that area. And that area on the queues uh, continues to be 388. Uh, as much as stocks look tired, as much as they look like uh, they're about to roll over, and a lot of names are looking uh, super duper weak, the point is they keep on finding bids. The buyers keep on kind of waking up. The buyers keep on defending these price levels. Even the names that gap up and, and sell off, they're, they're, they refuse a majority of them. And I'll give you guys a couple of examples of stocks getting tired and almost losing the previous day's ranges. Or in the case, for example, today of Meta, it did lose its previous day's range. But nothing is going to be settled, uh, at least for the downside. Nothing is going to be uh, established, especially uh, in front of Christmas, New Year, and so forth and so forth, uh, if the queues do not get below 388. And that's the number. So now we closed at 389.80. Uh, We're still you know, roughly about two bucks away. So just write down that number, guys. If you're looking for a potential backwash uh, or back tests or profit taking, whatever the case you want to call it, that 388 level is going to be kind of a big deal. The cool part about this this rally, the continuation of rally, um, you know, the, the groups that have been kind of forgotten, the groups that have been kind of avoided, the groups that uh, most traders don't pay attention to, right? And those names were the banks, right? When was the last time you traded a bank stock? But, you know, Goldman Sachs looks very, very good now. Uh, Citibank looks very, very good now. You got names like Bank of America looking very, very good now. Again, this is called distribution, right? They're taking money out of one group that had a big run, at least for now, and they're spreading it out to that. Not even uh, the bank stocks woke up today. Hell, when was the last time you heard GameStop's name, right? Outside that movie that came on, which I haven't seen. Uh, I will. I will when it comes on either Netflix or uh, HBO Max, whatever the case may be. I'll watch it, right? I'll watch it with Seth Rogen. I'm a fan. But when was the last time you saw GameStop, right? Even have a pulse, well, the last two days, GameStop even had a pulp, so the meme stocks are back. Hell, even AMC had a pulse today, right? If you could even squint your eyes, you could really see the stock was a 40 cent. Anyway, so you kind of get my point. Uh, small caps even woke up today. Look at this stock today, VVOS, right? Look at this damn thing, right? This VVOS literally went from $4 to 50, right? So again, you're, you're getting a good structure of what the market is. Uh, speculation money, although it's being rotated, is still predominantly on uh, the buy side, the speculation side, and that's kind of where we start tomorrow's session. However, again, we always talk about what happens, right? What happens if we don't? What happens if everything gets gets, gets gassed out? Well, that's kind of what we look at charts. And if you look at some names, and this is kind of where I want to start uh, start the video tonight, 
when you look at some names, right? When you look at some names and you say to yourself, well, what potentially could crack, crack? Okay, just remember, we definitely need a crack below that 388 on the Qs. But at least if you are going to start looking at the individual names, well, let's start looking at some individual names that could potentially uh, do very, very well if the market loses that 388 level. So let's talk about it. First uh, up at bat is Netflix, right? Netflix has been hanging on, hanging on, hanging on. It briefly got below the five-day the, the five moving average. The only problem is the 10-day moving average is here. So this one would be really, really good because number one, it had this massive, massive run. It's still holding on to the five-day moving average. This 10-day is going to move up tomorrow. The key is if they do pull, right? If the, if the market rotation does go to other groups like banks, cyclicals, whatever the case may be, even small caps, the other thing, and it comes out of uh, the beta names in the next couple of days, let's keep an eye on Netflix, right? Look, guys, look at the run Netflix had. Netflix had a run all the way from 344 to, you know, to basically what, 480. So you had a 140 point run uh, since mid-October, okay? Let's watch what happens. Hey, listen, if it finally does lose the 10 day moving average, right? If it does lose the 10 day moving average, and I love when pop-ups on Google uh, on Google comes up, uh, but if it does lose uh, the 10 day moving average, okay, look at which we have down, right? It's a big move here. Apple has been holding on for dear life. There was a big pivot today to the upside. And again, we'll get to the pivots in a second, but just like a lot of names, it gassed out. Again, rotation, at least for the most part, is coming out of a mega cap space, which had an incredible, brilliant run up and kind of being diverted to other things. Again, look how close Apple is, right? If Apple confirms the low from two days ago and loses the 10-day moving average, well, this is definitely a candidate uh, it could get smacked up. Look at a name like Meta, right? Meta today did lose the previous day's channel. This is one of the very few names that lost the previous day's channel, and this is the first close now below the 10-day moving average. Can this thing get another move down if the futures pull tomorrow? Yeah, sure, absolutely. So you're kind of getting an idea, right? You're kind of getting an idea of there are definitely some tired names. There's definitely some rotation going into banks, uh, going into retail, right? We talked about Etsy for the last couple of days, right? Etsy for the last couple of days, Etsy had a big run. You know, Dollar Tree today uh, had a, a nice little uh, a nice little run as well. So there's definitely alternative groups as Kramer on Mad Money always says, Jim Cramer says, there's always a bull market somewhere. Yeah, most of the time when there is a bull market somewhere, these stocks are untradeable. But for now, there is definitely a bull market somewhere while uh, technology rests. The question is going into tomorrow and the next day and the next day after that, can the bulls kind of wake back up on technology or is it finally due uh, for a necessary, a healthy, necessary back this? Even the biggest bulls in the world uh, will agree that, hey, we just ran up too far, too fast. Can we at least get a couple of days of going sideways to down to kind of reset some of these charts? And that's a very, very uh, important factor for any bull market, for any long drawn uh, trend type of uh, scenario. And the question is, is that finally going to come or are they just bulls are just going to wake up in the next uh, couple of days going back into the mega cap space and running it back into uh, the last month of the year? We'll see. OK, we'll see again. We could only uh, prepare for both sides. So let's talk about today. Right, let's talk about today. So yesterday, right, yesterday, we had an incredible move on Tesla, right? And Tesla basically in the last 24 hours went from the 239 breakout, right? The 239 breakout where I got long and pretty much everybody got long uh, and closed. The, and we talked about it last night. This was the, the highest close in this whole formation. So we added more on the close. So the stock went all the way up to 25250. Okay. I don't want to sound like we were making fun of ourselves today in the webinar. We all had the violins out. Oh boy, my stock is only up 14 points for us in 24 hours. Oh, woe is us. Right? The little sob story violin. But here's where the annoying part comes in, right? And we kind of talked about this for the last, you know, for the last few times. So Tesla, we we got along off the 50-day moving average. In the middle of November, it went up five, six points. That was great. And what did it do? It came back in. The next time we did it, it was exactly the same thing, five, six points, and it came in. Yesterday, we were up, you know, we were up what? From 39, uh, from 39 to 47, call it almost eight points, right? Eight points. We had another, we had another five and a half today. It was great. We made sales. Everything was great. But the, my, the bulk of my trade today from, uh, from the add into the close, got stopped today, got stopped out to pretty much uh, where we got long. And I'm just have I literally have a 10% runner left 
from that 339, uh, 239 uh, break, which is freaking annoying. It's like going out with a woman. She's incredibly hot. Uh, incredible. Like she's like the woman of your dreams. And finally she turns around and she goes, it's time to get intimate. She gives you the Google eyes. She gives you the, you know, the, the licking of the lips. The mood is right. Everything is right. You're super excited. It lasts for 20 seconds. Hey, but at least you still had sex, right? That's kind of my relationship for the last three times. Tesla broke out over the 50 day moving average. It's good, right? It's good. It's good. Nobody can complain, but I wish it could have just lasted a little bit longer. It is, you know, life's not fair, trading is not fair, and, and here we are again. So let's talk about it. Uh, this morning, uh, we talked about Apple, 191.10 needs to build. And again, everything really exploded today uh, at the open. You had Apple took out the 191.10, uh, traded up to 92. And again, the ugly reversal. That's why we're looking back to the backside of this 10-day breakdown. That's, that's kind of my whole point of stocks being just a little bit tired here. And that's the whole point, kind of my view uh, going to tomorrow's session. But again, nice dollar pop uh, at the open. Uh, TDOC, we talked about this in last night's video. Uh, 1822 needs to build. Here was TDOC, right? It took out the 1822, went to 1930s. Listen, a dollar move on an $18 stock. Pretty damn impressive. Uh, Meta, 341 needs to build. Meta never got there. AMD went nuts today at the open. Right? Absolutely nuts. Uh, 123.89. Uh, needs to build. Again, congratulations to all you guys who caught AMD. So it took out the 2389 and went all the way up to almost 126. Again, here's the common denominator. Gassed out and put this inverted hammer in. Again, a lot of stocks got very gassed. Letter U, we've, you know, we we talked about Letter U about a week and a half ago, two weeks ago, uh, reclaiming the 50-day moving average. Nice move on Letter U. Just like a nice move on TDOC, uh, 3040 needs to build. Look at Letter U, right? Look at Letter U. It took out that 3040 and went all the way up to 3164. Again, a dollar and change on a $30 stock is pretty damn good. Uh, Nvidia had a, a little a small move. I missed Nvidia. I was in, you know, selling Tesla on the way up. Uh, but no, I mean, nothing, nothing of a big move. Uh, 8530 needs to build. Traded up to like four, a little under 488 before ugly reversal. Uh, Tesla, right? So here was the move yesterday on Tesla. Uh, let me hold on. This is for some reason I retweeted this for no reason. Uh, here we go. Sorry about that. So Tesla, this is where we got long, right? 239, we got long. Uh, it gapped up today, put in a pre-market high of 250 and a half. It took out 250 and a half and traded up to 250, 250. Like my highest sale was 252. So everything was good, right? Everything was good. We thought Tesla's gonna get the two. My, my plan was if Tesla's gonna get into today's interval, uh, 253 and a half, 255, I was gonna get down to another runner. Uh, it just never happened. It just unfortunately never happened. It completely reversed course. And we get out of the trade. Um, again, I'm still holding on to just a 10% little runner from the 239 initially, but the bulk of the trade was uh, uh, off last night's close, which again, we made some good sales, but boy, oh boy, I just wish, like the guy with his, with his dream girl, just wish I lasted a little bit longer. And that's what she said. Uh, Meta never got up to 340. Uh, Netflix pretty much held again that 475, went down to like 474, 50s and then bounce back again. But the point is we are in this really delicate area that yes, the NASDAQ is resting, right? The NASDAQ is resting. Money flow is still being uh, distributed as we talked about today, the retailers, the banks, hell, even the meme stocks. So you are getting still a very robust uh, buyers, buyer ready market. The question is, does the NASDAQ, right? The NASDAQ 100, does it take out, eventually take out uh, the deflating balloon, or hell, they just kind of are sitting there getting their breath and ready for the next leg up. We don't know, right, to be determined, but that's why, again, we talk about this all the time. This is why we're prepared for both sides of the market. Uh, just one little announcement. Uh, the last uh, day of uh, the special Cyber Monday sale, I believe either ends tonight or tomorrow. I'm not sure. I don't handle any of this stuff. I, I know it sounds crazy, but I really don't know. Uh, e either uh, ends tonight or tomorrow. So for all you guys who are uh, thinking about joining us, especially through the stretch run, and you're interested in pivots, guys, there's a link below uh, in the comment section. Just take advantage of it. Just again, try pivots for a month. If it's not for you, it's not for you. It's all fine and dandy. But for all you guys who have been struggling, uh, finding a process, finding consistency, and kind of even just looking at the market from a different point of view, it's a really, really cool way uh, to kind of, you know, have a person in your life that's been doing this for nearly a quarter of a century and is extremely accessible. So guys, hopefully you guys will take advantage of it. If not, I will see you guys in the Twitter sphere, in the social media sphere, and all that good stuff. But for the rest of you guys, can't wait to meet you guys and start developing 
uh, your goals tomorrow. And just as a quick reminder, tomorrow is Thursday night. There is no video my regular night off. And for the rest of you guys, God bless. And I will see you on the field tomorrow. Take care.